Okay, so we have to do something that looks quite nasty, dividing something by something, and give our answer in standard form. Now, without a calculator, let's uh, write this out in a slightly nicer way. This is 3.5 times 10 to the 6 over uh, 5 times 10 to the minus 3. And so we've got two things to do to start with. We need to divide the 3.5 by the 5, and we need to divide the 10 to the 6 by the 10 to the th minus 3. So let's do over here somewhere the 3.5 over 5 to start with. Well, 35 over 5 is pretty easy. That's 7. And so 3.5 over 5. Well, I've divided the top by 10, so I need to divide my answer by 10. And so that is 0 0.7. Okay, so this is going to be 0 0.7 times something. Now what about this bit here? 10 to the 6 over 10 to the minus 3. Well, there is a little um, indices rule we can use. Okay, so we could say, right, indices or powers if you like. If I've got a to the p and I divide by a to the q, so the same big number here, the same base, what do I do to the powers? Well, I subtract the powers. It's a to the p minus q. So I do that and I get 10 to the 6 minus minus 3. Okay, let's just do that carefully. And 6 minus minus 3 is 6 plus 3, which is 10 to the 9. Now, so I've done the division, but it says give your answer in standard form. Well, that looks a bit like standard form, but our problem is that it starts zero point something. And standard form mustn't have a zero before the decimal point. It must have one non-zero number. So let's see if we can change that. Well, to get uh, 0 0.7 into 7, let's say, I'd need to multiply by 10. And so I'm borrowing that 10, or taking that 10, from the 10 to the 9. Look, 10 to the 9 is 10 times 10 to the 8. Think about adding the powers, 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 8 is 10 to the 9. And so now I can write this 0 0.7 times 10, the 10 I've just used from the 10 to the 9, 0 0.7 times 10 is 7, and I've got times 10 to the 8, and that is now in standard form. And we're done.